What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Yes. Okay, so, in our last episode, let's go right ahead. Let's check it out. Yeah, we got ourselves our very first badge. We got 10 Pokemon in our Pokedex. We don't really have a lot of money, but still, we are winners. And, oh yes, in the last episode, we got ourselves our running shoes, so now that enables us to actually do stuff like, I mean, run. Go places. Speed up some stuff. And because we can speed up some stuff, we're going to be going through routes 3 and 4 and Mount Moon. Yes, guys, we are going to breeze through this whole episode. We're going to be showing some stuff. Now, before, you know, as a recommendation, guys, before you go into Route 3 and then Mount Moon, make sure to buy yourself some potions. Make sure to, you know, get prepared for the next the next area because yeah there will be a lot of stuff to cover right there now in this episode yes i will be speeding up everything the battles because most of these battles are unimportant and many of you guys already know uh these kinds of battles drag on for like days and stuff so here we have this girl thinking that we're you know looking at her some funny way and this is where it's speed up here she is janice wants to battle thunder shock and oh wow we're Definitely not winning, and there's level 7. She's going to be coming out with a Pidgey, so let's go with Leonardo right here. As you guys can see, yes, we are going fast. And she does not like us, not one bit. So we're going to be going straight to this guy. Hey, I saw you in the Viridian Forest! So, who is this guy? I want to know. It's Colton, okay. And, well, of course, he's going to be coming out with a very easy Caterpie right here. And we gotta beat this guy real quickly. Unfortunately, that next hit, because of these uh, these tail whips, or no, the, the string shots right here are gonna mess us up, so, yeah. And here we go, Peck. We're sharing some points. And we're gonna continue it on right here with Tornado. And yeah, we're gonna keep it right here. We're gonna give Tornado a little bit of love, and just like that, we have defeated our gentleman right here. And... Well, it's a, probably a good thing that I bought myself a few potions along the way. Not not during the whole battle thing right here, but... Anywho. Yes, I know. Like, for some of you guys, you probably don't like the speed-up button right here. Me, personally, I do because, you know, it actually just makes these these routes, these long routes, a little bit uh, shorter. As many of you guys already know, in the Kanto region, there are a lot of, there are a lot of routes right here that just drag on and, you know... Many of you guys want to see the big thing because, well, you guys want to know how to defeat this game right here. And, well, I'm here to give it to you guys by speeding it up just a tad bit. So what we're doing right now is we're going to be speeding up the whole Switch training because Ekans is, a, you know, a bit of a pesk right there. And Sparky has grown to level 8, learned Thunder Wave. Okay, so we're going to have to wait on that. We're literally going to have to wait on that battle against that, that level 14 Spearow. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon yet again. Right here. Okay. And where there's a bug catcher, it's so much easier to actually battle. So, are you a trainer? Let's get right away. Okay. Bring it on. And what kind of bug catcher do we have here? His name is Greg. He is going to be coming out with a Weedle that, you know, that right there is going to mess me up. So, thankfully, I do have a bug or a flying type Pokemon right there. So let's go with Sparky. Let's shock these guys. And bam, more experience points. Let's go straight for Tornado. And bam, look at that. Teamwork along the way. Sparky, let's go. Thundershock, Thundershock, Thundershock. And guess what, Thundershock. So you see our Pokemon are growing levels. We're doing our thing. Yes. Okay. So let's see. Go right ahead, take on this girl, and of course she's gonna be like, that look you gave me. It's so intriguing. Yeah, that's not that's not cool. Okay. Here we go. Last Sally, one in the battle, coming out with a Radita. And yeah, that is a Pokemon you do not want to battle in a physical battle right there. And look at that. Leonardo grows a level 15. He's or she's coming out with a Nidoran female. Let's go with Sparky right here. Thunder Wave it. And. Yes, we are taking risks right here, and look at that, he defeated a uh, Nidoran female, and look at this! Okay, Sparky's doing some work right here, okay. Yeah, and she's telling me to be nice, okay, well that look was intriguing to me. Alright, let's go ahead and battle one more bug catcher before we take on, you know, 
homeboy right down there. Alrighty, so here comes James, and we're gonna go straight for a uh, Thunderstrike Palooza right there. And you know what? Let's give Tornado a little bit of love with the Metapods. And there we go. Yes. Okay, so I think we are ready for this next battle. Hold on just a sec. Let's see. I just want to check something right here. Oh yes, we do have enough uh, PP for the Thunderstrikes. So let's go right ahead and take on this guy right here. Now there is something that I have noticed when it came to Pokemon trainers with one Pokemon. And that is... And that is that, you know, that single Pokemon is going to be a little stronger than usual. So just be aware that, you know, here we have our strongest Pokemon trainer. Let's go straight for a Thunder Wave. And there we go. Spearow, you are not going to be able to move. And uh-oh. Never mind. Okay. That probably would have paralyzed that dude. So here we go. Thundershock attack. And... Oh, wow. That nearly defeats this guy. So here comes a Growl attack. And I do not know if that physical special thing actually appears right here. It does, I think. And there you go, Spiro. There we go, has been defeated. And Sparky has grown to level 11, which is always good. And it's learning Quick Attack, which, yes, this is a move that we desperately need. So let's go ahead and take away Growl. And just like that, poof. Quick Attack has done it. Okay. So we defeated Calvin. Yes, he has lost. Okay, guys, so I'll be right back with you. I'm going to heal up the Pokemon. And we're going to be moving on uh, moving on ahead because there is a little something right there in that grass that I do want to get. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so here we are back. And before we go into the grass, let's go ahead and talk to this girl right here. Eek! Did you touch me? Man, these girls right here are... <laughs> I don't even know. Last Robin, she's coming out with a Jigglypuff, and that is a Pokemon you physically don't want to hit because, well, it does have the effect, uh, I, I think, attractiveness or something. It, it makes you fall in love with her. And, well, as you guys can see, I woke up, kicked some butt, nearly uh, grew another level, and there we go. We have defeated her. Okay, so there is a Pokemon that I want to actually get here, that I've been wanting to get here for quite some time, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so as you guys can see, yes, our next Pokemon teammate will be Pokemon Nidoran Female. Now, in Pokemon Fire Red, right here in Round 3, Nidoran Males are the ones that you can find easily, while Nidoran Females are the hardest one to actually find, whereas in Pokemon Leaf Green, Nidoran Females, easy to find, Nidoran Males, hard to find. So, we're going to try and capture this Pokemon, and... Uh, well, thankfully, I actually used Growl right here. Now, the reason why I want to pick up uh, Nidoran Female for just the time being is because, well, I've always named it Smash, or yeah, I've always named it Smasher. Never really use it on a Pokemon team, and I think it's finally time to actually use it on our team right here. Always wanted to use a Nido Queen at some point in time, and uh, well, look at this. Got ourselves a Nidoran Female, the Poison Pokemon. Though small, it must be treated with caution because of its powerful or powerfully toxic barbs. The female has smaller horns, which is true. So say hello to Smasher. And by the way, off screen, call myself Thrasher. So <laughs> that's another uh, that's another fun thing to actually see right there. Alrighty, so I'll be right back with you guys after healing up the Pokemon. Alrighty guys, so here we are back, and well, let's go ahead and take a look at Smasher. And yes, coming back over here, I did kept capture myself a Jigglypuff. So here we have Smasher, the Nidoran female, and it does have a calm nature right here, which of course will raise up its special defense while its physical attack will go down. So that's probably bad luck right there. And its ability is Poison po Point, which poisons a Pokemon on contact right here. And, and as you guys can see, it, scra or it does have two moves right here, Growl and Scratch. It will actually learn some pretty good moves afterwards and all that stuff. Now the cool thing is about this Pokemon alongside Nidoran Male, you level it up to level 16, it will evolve into Nidoran or Nidorina. As well as, you know, Nidorino being evolved into Nidoran, uh, Nidorino. But then right there and then, you can go into Mount Moon and find two Moonstones to evolve these Pokemon. And from there, you'll have your first fully evolved Pokemon. Now, here's something pretty dumb. 
You come right here, you talk to this guy. Hello there, laddie! I have a great deal for you! I'll just have a secret Pokemon, a magic card, for just 500 Poke Dollars. So you'll buy it, am I right? Well, normally, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, in the real world, yeah, I wouldn't, because, yeah, uh, yeah, magic cards are not that great, but because I'm collecting all the Pokemon in the world, and I kind of need them all, yeah, well, yeah, let's play 500 Poke Dollars. And yes, let's go ahead and nickname this Pokemon, everybody. Say hello to Hydra, the Magikarp. Now, some of you guys are just wondering, like, hey, Draven, um, you're collecting all these Pokemon and renaming them and all that stuff. Thought you were going to be trading them. Yes, we will be trading, guys, later on. I just want to, you know, sp like, I want to expand the collection just a little bit because, well, there are certain things that you're going to be required of you capturing all these Pokemon. As you guys can see, we have 14 Pokemon that we've owned. And the more Pokemon you have, the more items you can get with the Professor's, uh, professor's Aids. By the time you defeat the Elite Four, you will be unable to go to another land. And it's going to be requiring at least 60 Pokemon. So just be aware of that right there, guys. So, I'm going to be right back, guys. We're going to go straight to the entrance of the Mount Moon. We just need to grab a few things right here. Okay, so here we go, guys. Going into Mount Moon... I did buy myself two repels, just two repels, uh, mainly because after we capture the specific Pokemon we, we want to capture here, yeah, we're going to be using that, that repel. Oh, would you look at that, yes. Here's a Pokemon we want to capture. We want to capture a Zubat because, well, Zubat is a pretty interesting Pokemon to actually have here, guys. Uh, at first, I actually thought it was just a weird Pokemon, you know, I couldn't see or anything like that, but then, you know, eventually, just, uh, it evolves into a pretty darn good Pokemon later on, and, well, we're just gonna expand the collection, nickname them, and then after that, we'll see what happens. So there you go, we caught ourselves a Zubat, not going to be on our team, by the way. So, let's see what we got here, Zubat, the bad Pokemon, it, it has no eyes. Instead, it relies on its ultrasonic cries for echo location to fill out in the darkness. And yes, we're going to be nicknaming this Pokemon Toxic Batman because, well, you know, you guys already know. Dr. Bat, and here we go with the man. Oh wait, didn't even press that button. Alright, let's go straight ahead to what we need to do next, guys. Okay, so we're grabbing this item right here, guys, and this is the TM09 Bullet Seed. Grass that move. A grass that move that can actually work for, you know, your grass type Pokemon. And, well, here we have a Paralysis Heal. And that will be needed because, well, there are going to be some Pokemon here that will paralyze you. And I do see a Bug Catcher, so let's go right ahead and switch it out to Smasher right here. Just, just for this one occasion. Alright, let's go right ahead and see what this is all about. Suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? Well, not really much of a suspicious man. I'm just a Pokemon trainer. Here we have Bugcatcher Kent. And, of course, he's going to have himself a Weedle. Now, the great thing about us having Smasher is that it is also a Poison-type Pokemon. It will not get poisoned. So, look at that. Take that, Poison Sting. Oh my god, nearly grows another level, and here she's, or here he's coming out with a Kakuna. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna use the crud out of the scratch attack, and yeah, let's just, yeah, let's just go ahead and waste a lot of uh, scratch attacks right here, look at that. And there you go. Just to level up our Smasher, because, well, you guys already know the, the business. We want to get it to Nido Queen. And bam! Look at that, level 9. Thank you, Pokemon God Arceus, and there we go. Kent has been defeated. Alrighty, so that is done. Let's go right ahead. And you know what? Let's go with Leonardo right here. Let's get this going. Uh-oh. What? I'm ready to hear for my friends to find me here. Oh. Okay. And who is next, Pokemon? Uh, last are Iris. And, well, she's going to have herself a Clefairy. And these Clefairies are usually uh, screwy just because they like to use Encore or sing us to sleep. And after that battle, yes, we got to level 16. And it's about time. Leonardo is finally evolving. Look at that. 
Now, some of you guys already know, I do love myself some War Turtle, mainly because it looks like it has, uh, you know, war paint on right there. Look at that. It looks like it has some war paint on, meaning that it, it looks like it's ready for battle all the friggin' time, which, you know, it's pretty awesome. So, let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest uh, evolved Pokemon, War Turtle. Look at that. It's ready for battle. If I could, I would. I would keep it on my team as a War Turtle, but we kind of need to evolve our Pokemon because, well, they get stronger that way. Alright, so let's move on right here. Bring it on. There's some staircase right there. And here we have a Pokemon that we probably will be using for, like, the first part of this whole thing right here. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Geodude. This guy is a Rock-type Pokemon. This guy is a very defensive Rock-type Pokemon. And if I remember correctly, in, uh, in, in the new Pokemon Yellow walkthrough that I had, well, that I have right here, I did managed to kept capture myself a Geodude, evolve it all the way to a Golem for the first time. So, yeah, we're gonna try that right here because, well, I kinda want to. And yes, I do know that I have a Nidoqueen right here, or I'm gonna have a Nidoqueen. So, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use this. Let's go with the Pokeball. Try and capture it the way it is right now. Okay, come on. Stay in the ball. Come on. You can do it. That's right, throwing out that peace sign, guys. So there it is, guys. We caught ourselves a Geodude. And, well, look at this. Geodude, the rock-type Pokemon. Its round form makes it easy to pick up. Some people have used them to hurl at each other in a snowball fight. Now, that's just messed up right there. It really is. That is a very painful snowball. And, well, let's give this guy its original name. Well, it has been a while. Say hello to our good old buddy, Terramon. And yes, we will try to evolve it here in this walkthrough. We're gonna, we're gonna see what happens. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are back and well, let's go ahead and take a look at this next Pokemon right here that we have. Terramon, the Geodude. So as you guys can see, Terramon is both a rock and ground type Pokemon, does have the hardy nature and all that stuff, and well, it is a very, very physically defensive Pokemon, and it does have the rock head ability, meaning any kind of move that has recoil, it will prevent it. So this is a very, very good ability. Um, I don't know, which one's good, guys? Rock head or sturdy? I don't know, either or, it, it, it's something. But as you guys can see right here, it does have some pretty good moves. Tackle, Defense Curl, and Mud, uh, mud Spore. I will be having this Pokemon on my team just for, you know, just to try and get it up to a Graveler and all that stuff. So let's go right here, and let's travel along the way. Let's see, right? All right, let's travel along the way right here. And here we have our first Team Rocket member. And since they are Team Rocket, we're gonna try and uh, let's see. We're gonna we're gonna actually battle them in regular in a regular speed because well they are kind of important to the story right here. We Team Rocket are Pokemon gangsters. We strike fear in our with our strength. I mean, what kind of strength do you have? Okay, so here we go. Taking on a Team Rocket Grunt, and he will be coming with a Sandshrew. Probably should have just stayed with, uh, with, uh, what was it, Leonardo. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing right here, guys. I'm going to switch it out. Let's go, Leonardo. And, it, yes, as you guys can see, I do have a full team right now. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean I'm done. I'm actually capturing all these Pokemon right here. I'm having fun. And, well, there we go. Water gun attack for the win. And, well, Smasher grows to level 10. Leonardo, of course, grows some uh, some more experience points, and well, let's go right ahead and switch it out right here. Let's go straight to Terramon, mainly because well, Terramon does have a very very good de uh, physical defense. So yeah, this this is not going to be like it's not going to be an easy battle for this Pokemon right here. So here comes a tackle, doesn't really work. Terramon, tackle attack. There we go, quick attack. Look at that. We gotta love our defensive Pokemon right here. They are very very good, and well. It looks like it's going to take a while, so let's speed it up right here. There we go. And just like that, we have defeated Radita. And here comes a Zubat. 
So, let's go straight for Sparky right here. Let's go, Sparky. Let's go, Sparky. And Zubat's looking pretty, uh, pretty intense right there. But here we go with a Thundershock attack. And that nearly defeats Zubat right there. But here comes the Leech Life. Holy crud. And... Well, that doesn't really take a lot. But since it is a physical attack... Yes, it gets paralyzed. So here we go. A Thundershock. And that does the trick right there. Say goodbye to Zubat. And that right there gets us some more points. And yes, you have blown it, homeboy. You have blown it badly. Alright, so going up right here. Like I was saying, going right, right here, you're going to grab this little item. And you have found yourself a star piece, which you could sell for a nice amount of money. Like I said, money. You can never get so much money right there. And yes, I know I have repels. Well, yeah, you can never get so much money. And luckily for us, we do have a paralysis heal. That way we don't stay paralyzed. Now, another thing too, guys. As I'm uh, speeding up these uh, these wild Pokemon encounters, I am actually battling the Pokemon as well. Because, well, we kind of need to evolve some Pokemon along the way. Having fun. Having lots and lots of fun. Yeah, you gotta love paralysis, guys. It's really... It's really messed up right there. Okay, so let's take another trip to the Pokemon Center, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back, and thanks to that star piece, we have bought ourselves quite a few repels, so this whole Pokemon uh, attacks, these wild Pokemon attacks, won't be uh, so much of an issue here. And, uh, well, before we do anything, let's go right ahead and switch it out to Terramon right here, because I have a feeling we got something uh, to cover. And here we have another potion. That's always nice to have. And, what? Don't sneak up on me. Okay, another Pokemon battle, and here we have... Let's see, Jovan, and well, he's gonna be coming out with a Magnemite right here. So, using a Mud Sport, that will weaken up uh, some, uh... Well, that will weaken up something for our Electro-type moves right here. So, what we need to do now is take care of this Pokemon right here, and... Damn, look at that, level 10. Let's go back to Terramon right here, that way he can take care of the rest. And thankfully, these Electric-type Pokemon do not have an Electric-type moves just yet, because that would have been bad right there. And look at this. Got ourselves to level 11, and now Terramon's got itself its Rock Throw right there. So, yes. Yes, this Pokemon won't do. And thankfully, we do have quite a few steps before we get into the next Repel. And here we found ourselves a Rare Candy that will be needed. And, uh, well, let's see. We got another Bug Catcher, so let's go right ahead and give... Tornado, a bit of a love right there. And here we have, you need to go through this cave to get Cerulean City. Whatever you say. All right, Robbie, time to feel, time to pay the piper. Yes, he's coming out with some bug type Pokemon and Tornado is just loving it. So let's give Terramon a little bit of love right here too with its rock throw since it is now a strength. And look at that, we have defeated it, defeated Robbie. And well, that is it. So let's move on right here. Here we have another item, and this one is an escape rope. This one will actually help us out for our next uh, little adventure. And let's see, if you talk to this guy, Hi, I'm excavating for fossils here under Mount Moon. Sometimes Brock of Pewter City Gym lends me a hand. That right there, if you guys haven't noticed, is a bit of gossip. Later on, Gary's going to give you an item where... Well, an item that will actually talk about gossip of different kinds of Pokemon trainers. That includes gym leaders and, uh, well, you know, the Elite Four. This guy right here will probably be one of those guys that you're going to actually keep an eye out for. Now, let's go right ahead. Well, let's continue on right here and battle this person. And my repel is finally worn off, so it, it actually pays to actually have enough repels. And I'm hoping that by the time, by the time we get out of here, all our repels will be used up. So, here we have another lady. Wanting to battle us, and her name is Miriam. And we're gonna come out with Tornado right here, Peck Attacks. And just like that, we have defeated another Pokemon trainer. And, well, she's coming out with a Bell Sprout. So, let's go right ahead and give Smasher a little bit more love right there. And so far, just a Scratch Attack. There we go. And just like that, Smasher grows to level 12, learns Double Kick, a much needed move that can actually help out against some wrong type Pokemon trainers here. And well, let's move on right here. Now remember, running actually wastes the the repel just a little bit more. 
Now, first and foremost, go right here, grab this. You found ourselves a TM-46, which is Thief. A, a move, a dark type move, that can actually help a Pokemon steal... What was it called again? Yeah, a Pokemon steal a, a held item from a, another Pokemon right here. And, well, we're going to be going up against Zubat. And, well... That was a critical hit. That was lucky. So, Tornado, look at that. Have yourself a game. And here he's coming out with a uh, Ekans. So let's go straight to Terramon right here. Let's have some fun, Terramon. All right, Terramon. It has been... Uh, I never knew how valuable, you know, Golem would be later on in Pokemon uh, Yellow. I'm actually glad that I actually used them. And, oh, bro. Oh, no. Oh, no. And yes, we are poison. Good gravy. Okay, so we got to beat this Pokemon hard. And there we go. Rock. Well, yeah, Rock Throw does the trick. So we got to keep on hitting it again. And here comes a wrap alongside with its poisoned. And here we go. And oh, nearly defeats Ekans. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a risk right here. So let's go right ahead. Try it one more time. Uh oh, come on. Here we go. And it missed. Good gravy. Okay. We gotta speed this up. There we go. See, that's what gets gets at me. It, it just prolongs itself. It just Yeah, okay. So there we go. Terramon has won yet again, and now we have to actually uh, heal up the Pokemon, but luckily for us, yes, we have stocked ourselves with a few antidotes. This actually works. And well, let's go right ahead and grab this. We have found ourselves an ether, which will replenish any kind of PP. And let's go right back up. Here we have another trainer. And I am saying, let's go with Smasher right here. And if it levels up right here, then actually, you know, we could actually use the, uh, what was it called? Uh, we can actually use the, the uh, rare candy. So here he comes out with a Rattata. And, well, let's speed it up now. Double kick. Becomes a triple kick. Here we go. And good gravy. Okay, so because of that, now I have to use... Well, I don't really want to use the rare candy. So, Sparky, do your thing. Spark it up. And here we go again. Spark it up again. And there we go. We have defeated this guy. Holy crud. Okay, I'm not going to waste that rare candy just yet. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back. Healed up our Pokemon. Got attacked by a few others. Let's go ahead and use another Repel. Alrighty. So, let's go right ahead and see what this guy's all about right here. Whoa! You shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid! Yes, I am just a kid. Okay, so here we go. Taking on another hiker. And his name is Marcos. And he is coming out with a Geodude. A Pokemon that could be used. And, well... Let's go right ahead and go with a double kick attack right here. That is uh, quite a quite a hit right there. And oh my god, Smasher, come on. Give it your all. Bam. Level 13 right there. So there is a shot that it could be at level 14 by this one. And let's go ahead and double kick. Mud Sport. There we go. Yes, okay. So we do have a chance right here. It's just we're going up against a uh, Onyx right here, and just like that, Smasher goes up to level 14, and, well, I'm going to save that rare candy until it gets to level 15, because we're going to get close right here. So, going up right here, you'll be finding a Moonstone, which can evolve any, well, it can evolve a Jigglypuff, Clefairy, Nidoran male and female, with you know, with just the Moonstone, and then if you get into Hoenn, you're gonna go up against a Delcaddy right there, so just be aware, just keep an eye out for those, uh, those rare can- or not those rare candies, but those Moonstones. And, well, here we have one more trainer. Now, before we take this guy on, I- yeah. We gotta go with the potion here, guys, because he does have himself a- a Raticade that's highly underleveled and all that crud. And, well, let's go ahead and battle him. Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. It could be bad news. Alrighty, so, here we go, taking on uh, Team Rocket Grunt, and he does himself, he does have himself a Rattata, so let's just go with double kicks. 
And just like that, we get some more points. He's going to be coming out with a Sand True, so let's go straight for Leonardo. And let's go right ahead and go with the Water Gun attack right here. And there we go. We have defeated a Team Rocket Grunt. He is so steamed. Okay, moving on before we do <laughs> take another step. Whew! Nearly took another step. Let's go with the Repel because we do not want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon right here. And yes, I kind of see the irony with running and Repel. It does go by quicker. And, well, we got another trainer right here, so let's go. We, Team Rocket, shall find the fossils. Reviving Pokemon from them will earn us huge riches. Ya don't say. Okay, so here we go. Taking on another Team Rocket Grunt with his Radita. All right, Smasher, do your thing. Double a kick. And, God, I hate that Super Fang. And, yes, we're going to play it safe right here. Smash has grown to level 15. And, well, here comes a Zubat. So let's go right ahead and concentrate on Sparky. And there we go. Level 12 Sparky. And, uh, yeah. Ugh, now I'm mad. You better be mad. Okay, so... Let's get that rare candy. And give it to good old Smash right there. I'm looking at that. And Smasher. Oh yes, it's evolving. And who ever thought that we'd have like two different kinds of evolutions right here? Maybe even three. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Smasher growing. And Bam. So here we have Neat Arena. And well, before we evolve it one last time. Let's go ahead and take a look at Smasher as a Nidorina. So here we have Nidorina, still a poison type Pokemon, still has all its uh, attributes right there. Now, as you can see, it's very evened up, or pretty evened up, I should say. Wow, very evened up? Wow. And it still has the ability Poison Point, which poisons on contact, and, uh, well, it's so nice to have that Pokemon, but, uh, yeah, I think I prefer the Nido Queen. So here we go, guys. One more time, and bam, Smasher is evolving one more time for a final time. Now, you can do this with a, a, Nido, a, a Nidorino, a Nido, a Nidorino, or a Nido, Nidoran male, and it would be the same thing. Level 16, and then bam. Or you can do it with both. And as you guys can see, bam, Smasher has now evolved into a Nido Queen. This Pokemon right here is a tank. Let's go right ahead and take a look at this Pokemon. So now, as a Nido Queen, it is both a poison and ground type Pokemon. A very, very good combination. Its stats evened out. Perfect. And it can learn a lot more new moves like, you know, flamethrower, uh, elemental moves and all that sort. It is a it, it is a fantastic Pokemon to actually have. Now, if you guys are thinking that that is the only Moonstone you can get for quite some time, think again. Go right here to this rock, and bam, you found yourself another Moonstone, which could be used to evolve another Pokemon. So, let's see. You know what? Smash is right there. Let's go right ahead and use the potion right here. Give it a little bit of potion right here. And bam, Smasher, how's it going? All right, bring it on. Hey, stop. I found these fossils. They're both mine. What a selfish man right there. So here we have Super Nerd Miguel wanting to battle us, and he's coming out with his Grimer. Now what's kind of messed up is that we don't have a ground type move just yet. So we're just going to have to go with the basic moves right here. And as you guys can see, Smasher is a lot stronger. So let's go with Terramon. And yes, we're still going to be using Terramon for just a little bit. Not all the time. Here we have at level 13. And here comes a Coughing. So let's give Leonardo a little bit of love tier 2. Let's go with the Water Gun. Another Water Gun. Bam. Level 18. And we have defeated this guy. Yes! And, well, he's like, We'll each take a fossil. No being greedy. So... I think I've reminded you guys that I actually, I was, I'm actually playing Pokemon Leaf Green off-screen. Just to get it back to where I was. That way I can start trading. And I do remember getting ourselves a, a Helix Fossil. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to get the opposite, which will be a Dome Fossil. This can be re uh, used to revive a Kabuto. And, uh, well, the Kabuto is pretty, it's 
pretty awesome Pokemon right there. Now, talk to this kid, and he's going to be like, Far away on Cinnabar Island, there is a Pokemon lab. They do research on regenerating po uh, Pokemon fossils. That is awesome right there. Now, I do need to use one more repel. And, well, let's get the heck out of here. Grab this, found ourselves an antidote, and let's get the heck out of here. There we go. Okay, so here we are in Route 4, and there are two individuals right here. These two people are move teachers. They are scattered around Kanto, and you can actually learn some different moves from all of these move teachers. Now, I'm going to actually teach two of my Pokemon these moves. This guy is the Mega Punch Teacher. He's like a punch of roaring ferocity, pet with destructive power. When the chips are down, Mega Punch is the ultimate attack. Do you agree? Yes? Now, let me teach you your Pokemon. So, we're going to be teaching this move right here to our good old buddy Smasher because we kind of knew we we kind of do need a do need a better move than just scratch. So, let's go right ahead and do that. And bam, scratch has been gone. Here comes Mega Punch. He's like, "Now we are comrades in the way of punching." You should go before you, you're seen by that misguided fool who trains in only his silly kicking over there. You know what? I'm going to talk to him, too, because we kind of need that brutal ferocity packed with destructive power. When you get down to it, Mega, Mega Kick is the ultimate attack. Don't you agree? Okay, let me teach it to your Pokemon. Alrighty, so, let's see. There are two Pokemon that can learn it. I am going to teach it to Leonardo for right now. And... Let's go ahead and take away Tackle. That move it hasn't been, uh, yeah, that move hasn't been accurate in quite some time. Now we are soulmates in the way of kicking. You should run before you're seen by that deluded nitwit who trains on only simply or simple punching over there. Now, I'm going to take a look at this. When it comes to it, we have to settle this debate right now. Mega Punch is 80 base power and 85 accuracy. The foe is slugged by a punch thrown with muscle packed power. Now, if you go to the Mega Kick, this is 120 base power and 75 accuracy. The foe is attacked by a kick fired with a muscle packed power. Try saying that quite a few times. So, when it comes down to it, I think the, the Mega Kick is a little bit better, just less accurate, you know, by 10 and all that stuff. Okay, so let's move on ahead right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this little sucker. And, yes, we have found ourselves TM05 Roar. And, well, the effect has worn off. And we are finally here, guys. Look at that. This is a, 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 complete, a completely new thing that we're doing right here for our Fire Red. Like I said, I'm trying to finish this whole walkthrough in less than 50 episodes. So... Just be aware that, you know, we're going to be doing a lot of things on a speed button basis and all that stuff. I do apologize if that is something that you guys kind of don't like. But, you know, it is what it is, guys. Many of you guys requested it, so I'm doing it. Anywho, in the next episode, we're going to go through all of Cerulean City, including the gym. So you don't want to miss that. Uh, what else is there? What else is there? Oh, yeah, if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, yes. The heart button's right there. Click on it. Bam, we'll be good to go. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. See you guys.